Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Gilbert with Interactive Utopia and today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, another part of the Facebook API which is uh, when it comes to groups. Uh, a lot of uh, companies, uh, people, developers, marketers, they want to get into Facebook groups uh, because uh, and, and be able to analyze them because a lot of the people, a lot of the customers, they spend a lot of their time in there and they trust uh, the people that they usually know in the groups. So for that reason, I wanted to take a quick peek at the API and see what, what were its ca capabilities. So I want to give you a quick summary of what I've learned. Hopefully this helps you out and uh, and yeah, it, it can uh, assist you in, in uh, reaching the goal for your project, okay? So first of all, I'm uh, Gilbert with Interactive Utopia. You can visit us at interactiveutopia.com. We do have an app called Social uh, Utopia, which you can uh, find at social.interactiveutopia.com. Here you can manage your social media profiles. Um, schedule posts, send posts to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Google. And uh, yeah, so hopefully a very useful tool. Uh, if you are looking for some information about the API, Facebook or Meta for developers does have some um, documentation on their website. Uh, I did find that there's a couple of uh, different areas where you can find the documentation in here it lists most of the uh, information but for example it does uh, give you a link to getting a list of the groups that the user uh, belongs to but once you click on it it does you know there's no information in there uh, but if you google you can find the uh, the information through through the grapevine <laughs> um, but uh, but enough of that so basically what I was trying to do what I was trying to achieve is to uh, improve the app, improve social utopia. I wanted to be able for all the users to be able to go in there, uh, manage their business uh, page, but by doing so, uh, they were hopefully being able to, you know, retrieve the post that the, each of the groups they're in uh, uh, are, are displaying. And then maybe we can uh, go through those posts and find some, you know, key uh, some keywords uh, that uh, it, it could help the business. Maybe, for example, you know, for off, you know, we do web design. Maybe if we see somebody that's using the the words, you know, developer, designer, uh, you know, something like that, then we can uh, pop an alert and see what you know what they're looking for, and maybe we can respond and maybe get some business out of it. Uh, but even though the documentation does give you, you know, uh, the information, it says, you know, you can get the group post, you can get all that information. It, unfortunately, you're unable to do so. You have to be either an administrator or have an application installed on that group. So, you know, which makes it, you know, not very doable. Maybe there's another way that I'm not aware of, but, uh, you know, again, by, by just doing a quick look, I wasn't able to find another way. It looks like this is a change, a security change that, uh, Facebook implemented a couple years back so before you could do it but now it, you're unable to do it but still uh, you know let's let's take a look and see what I was able to achieve uh, which was not very much but basically I was able to get a list of the Facebook groups uh, that that particular page is in and then you know we did uh, try to do the query uh, to, to get the post from that group but as you can see here you know it requires either admin we granted managed group permissions or mem or member using install that uh, which you know unfortunately we don't have either or Okay, uh, I will look into that using install app. Uh, maybe, you know, it, you, we can manually go into the groups, install an app, and then, you know, go from there. I doubt it, but uh, we'll give it a shot. But for now, let's see how how does this work. Maybe you, you have an app, you want to just know what the interest of your user is and uh, or of your or the different pages is, and you just want to display that contact, you know, either for your clients or, you know, some third party. Uh, let's go to Visual Studio Code. And in here, you know, it's very simple. You got to start by loading your Facebook class. I didn't include the loader file in here for security reasons, but you know, you just got to include your Facebook class. 
uh, I'm using the PHP API. Uh, in here, I am storing the, the Facebook page that I have selected in my app because since you can work with different pages, uh, you know, this is pretty much the page that you're working with at that time. And then you just gotta make a simple API, API call. Again, this is through the Facebook PHP API. And uh, we need to give them the page, the Facebook page that we're currently working with. And then from there, uh, we can just call, uh, you know, slash groups and, uh, that's what's going to display you the groups that it's in. Of course, you gotta, you always got to pass the authorization token and try to catch some errors if they do happen. But basically, once I get that, I get the uh, graph edge response. I store it in a variable. And then that variable, I can just loop through it. And that's going to give me the... Uh, the information for the groups that that page is in. If you want to give it a little further, uh, you know, I just made it on a separate piece uh, to try to uh, separate it a little bit for uh, better understanding. You can always, you know, using the same loop as you were using or as we use for, you know, to get the name of the group and their ID, we would just make a, sec a second API call for each one of those groups uh, where, you know, instead of getting the um, group, uh, the pages group, we're going to the, oh, to that group ID that we retrieved. And then we're asking for the feed. Uh, you know, I tried doing it with no limit. I tried doing it with a limit of five. Unfortunately, it still gave me the same error. Once you do that, you got to pass your authorization token as well. Try to catch any errors if they do happen. And then you're going to store the received data into a variable. Uh, you know, and then I'm just printing it out. As I mentioned, Unfortunately, not the best case scenario. It didn't let us, uh, you know, get those group posts. So we're going to keep trying. Hopefully we can make that happen. But at least you have a brief introduction of what you can do, what you cannot do. Hopefully it saves you a little bit of time. And if all you need to do is list the uh, groups that your page is in, maybe for your website or something like that, uh, you know, this is a perfect way of doing so. All right. So, uh, once again, if you do have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.